I mean, they might expect you on the wall. It, it depends how experienced the enemy team is. But it's definitely an off angle if they are pushing through mid. No way. Oh my god, wait. No, wait, wait. The map, the map is broken. The map's broken. Oh, no. All oh, right. I'm streaming this map on Twitch right now. So if you want to see more insights into the map and how it's actually played in a 5v5 situation, head on over to twitch.tv forward slash float ascending. Hope to see all of you there, my friends. All right, we've just loaded into the map. Let's go and explore it together. By the way, if you don't want to see the walkthrough, you just want to see all of the sage walls, skip to this timestamp shown on the screen right now. Okay, let's carry on with the walkthrough. So if you spawn at the defender side this is where you'll be so i'll go into ghost mode just so you can see there's some statues behind you right here so if you go left you can see on the minimap there that's towards a site if you go right it's towards b site so i guess we'll go towards b site first so you can walk this way now to get to b you can go down here and under or you can go above and onto this bridge right here this opens up to the site this is where you can plant right here and uh, this is the bit that you can come down from. You can go behind this site and sit back here. This is going to be uh, a really weird position to hold, actually. I feel like there's a lot of cubbies on this map. Like, a lot of different places where you can actually hide. So, if you keep going past B site, obviously, you can see all of the different wall potential. But we'll do that later. If you go past B site, we're just going to run around the map. This is the way towards T spawn or attacker side. There's a lot of uh, random cubbies and random areas in this map. It kind of reminds me of one of the CSGO maps that you would see, kind of like made by people in the public servers. If you go all the way this way, you, you go to attacker side. Attacker side has some nice stuff behind it as well. It's a very pretty map. It's very beautiful. So it's underwater, surrounded by a dome. Go back down. Now you can go mid. I think we'll just explore mid uh, later. So I'll just show you towards A site now. If you go down here, so now we're pushing from attacker side towards A site. There's a random bit here. I don't understand the point of this. There's like a random cubby you can walk around on your way towards A site. It's kind of strange. You come down here. This is A site. So you can plant all on here. And then you can sit behind this little cubby. So you can't plant here, but you can hold from here enough to plant. It's very odd. Very odd map. Kind of reminds me of Inferno from CS again. You can then jump onto this hut as well. And then we'll just wrap around back towards CT spawn or defender spawn. That's it. So we've just done a full loop around the map. Now we'll go through the middle sections because this is where it actually gets kind of interesting. So you can go straight into mid from defender side by crouching under here. In, uh, on the... So you can go straight to middle from defender side by crouching through this little cubby. Once you're in this section, you can go left towards A site. You can see on the map, you go towards A site or you can carry on right towards uh, towards B site. If you go right, you can also join back to this middle area here. This is closer towards the attacker side. So I assume this is where a lot of attackers will be holding from. And then left side also joins there. So there's a lot of connections that are going all the way around the map, which is uh, it's kind of unique because Valorant tends to be just kind of lanes. If, if you think about Haven, there's literally just three stationary lanes on the map. This is uh, very connected. It's uh, much more, I don't know. There's a lot more cubbies. There's a lot more random holds, which I don't know if it's going to be a good or bad thing. I'm still yet to play it against other people. So we'll have to wait and see later on stream. Okay, so I'm going to push the right side again. So once you go to the right side of the middle, look, there's just tons of boxes. There's tons of random areas you can hide in. Tons of places you can run to. Tall boxes everywhere, which... Oh yeah, Sage Wars everywhere. And then you're back onto B site. So that's going defenders to middle to B site. If we push through these doors right here, it opens up to, what would this be called? Oh, it doesn't send them up yet. This is kind of the, uh, the attackers mid garden. I don't know what you would call it, lobby. And from here, you can go to the right. So if you're an attacker, you can go this way. It's, I don't know. It's a very, very strange map. It's almost like a combination of CSGO and Overwatch together. It's like it's took uh, stuff from CS, but then applied it into an Overwatch style map. It's it's kind of strange, but I'm not going to lie. This might be the best Sage map yet. It might honestly be the best Sage map. So that's middle back towards A, so we can go back from... Wait, what's this bit? Oh, sorry. Okay, so this was from... 
when you crouch through here, you can turn left. And that goes straight to site. Okay. There are some nice quirks to the map. There's a giant hole here, so if you're a jet main, you can come through here. Double up draft and peek down. And I think that's about it. I think we've explored all of the map. If you go from the defender's uh, mid lobby, you can run through here. There's some scuba gear. It's nice. There's a lot to explore. There's honestly a lot to explore on this map. There's a lot of different areas. So there's loads of different gimmicks. Well, they're not even gimmicks. There's just a lot of different jumps and boxes and corners to peek around. There's so much to look for. I don't even understand the point of this. Like, why would you ever hold here? I'm not sure, but... It's there. <laughs> you can do a lot. Like, what's the point in this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there are so many tall boxes and so many areas you can jump up onto to explore the map. But it, it might be the most unique Valorant map in some way. Because there are so many different places for you to move around on. If you're playing a movement agent, there's a ton for you to look at. So I'll just quickly go over the map just to uh, one last time explain how it goes. So we begin here on defenders. You can go left to turn towards A site. There are two different lanes to go towards A site. And then there's that could be behind the site. If you want to go right, it takes you towards B site where you can run underneath the bridge or go onto the bridge and pop out onto the site. If we go through middle, you can go here, which uh, you have to duck under that little vent, which takes you to middle where you have to take a left towards A site or the right towards B site or the attacker's mid lobby, whatever we called it earlier. And that's it. That covers the defender side of the map. Those are the kind of three different entrance points that you can take on the map. Attacker side's a little bit more complicated. It seems like there are a lot more routes, but I mean, they all kind of just lead to the same points. So if you start on attacker side, you can go, it would be right on attacker side, but it's left on this map you can run down here that was the random cubby that we passed you go down and then you're down on a site you can go straight in front of you this will lead you out into the attackers mid lobby that i called and then you can take this right or left on the map which takes you again towards a site or you can wrap around towards defenders spawn or kind of the mid b area here there's also a door here which you can enter to go towards the mid b area and then if you were starting on attacker side again sorry you can go left or on the map, it looks like right, which takes you back to the same lobby, or you can go all the way around towards B site. So it kind of looks like a complicated map when you first enter it. But honestly, once you break it down and you look at it visually, it makes a lot of sense. And rotation times seem like they might take a while. Honestly, if you're from A site, the only way you're really going to rotate is this way. I guess you could go through middle as well. Yeah, you'd go through mid here as well. So we'll just have to wait and see how the map plays out. But that's just a quick little map walkthrough. If you want to see more, I am streaming right now. I'll be streaming a lot this weekend. So plenty of chances for you to come and check out the map. Now let's get into the walls because this is the really exciting part. Okay, we'll start by covering the walls from B site. I don't want to do too many silly walls, so we'll just do the main walls for now. And then later on, as I progress and get better at the map, I'll show you like the more crazier one ways in middle and whatnot. But for now, I'm just going to show you the main walls that I've currently found, which will be really, really useful in your early games playing this map. So starting on B site, we're going to start on the platform. You can obviously hold from here, but you can do many different walls as well. So the first one that I will show you is if you want to wall off the platform, you can do right here. You can wall it and then at the same time as walling the platform, you can come here, which holds that mid B flank that we talked about earlier in the walkthrough. So people will be pushing through here or through there in order to get to B site when they're trying to retake it. It's very, very unlikely that they wrap all the way around. Very unlikely that they wrap around this way if they're coming from A site. I also will speed this up. I won't explain every single wall. Uh, that's just a quick explanation to prove that these walls will make sense. The second wall you can do is right here. You can jump across the wall. Now this wall is a little bit more silly, but it does give you the height advantage to hold from here or you can hold spawn if they are rotating from back there. Wall number three from the platform, you can jump to this box right here and then just get a little off angle wall like this. You can come around. You can't walk too far, but you can hold the, the platform right here just to get a cool little off angle if they're pushing from up there or down there. Going to wall number four, we will be using a one way for attacker side. So if you plant right here, you can plant the spike on B site there. Then you can come off this ramp and do a little one way wall. Now you want to do it on an angle so that the enemy team have to run into the cubby to defuse. And whilst they're defusing, you can obviously see their feet from back here. So you don't even have to hold aggressive. You can sit all the way back here. And when they start defusing, you can get the kill. Wall number five, we will actually be leaving B site. I don't want to abuse it too much and show too many kind of gimmicky walls. We're going to come towards the attacker's spawn. There's a box right here that I showed in the walkthrough. You can jump up onto the box and then do a long wall diagonally this way. 
And this will actually show you the defenders uh, rotating from A towards B site if they are taking this attacker's mid lobby uh, area. So you can actually hold this head glitch angle, just tap over the wall. For number six, I've come into the lobby of attacker's side mid, and I just want to use this box. I guess you can come this way. And you can definitely hold from here. Uh, I mean, they might expect you on the wall. It, it depends how experienced the enemy team is. But it's definitely an off angle if they are pushing through mid. And... No way! Oh my god, wait! No, wait, wait! The map, the map is broken! The map's broken! Oh no! Oh, riot. Okay, apparently you can go onto the tile. So you can actually fully break the wall. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this would be really bait. This would be really bait. If they're pushing from there... Oh, this is so bait. Can you go all the way around? Sorry, this has now turned into a... Glitch exploration map. Okay, apparently yeah. you can sit on that roof for now. This might be patched by the time that it comes out for you guys, but... In early access, you can sit on that roof. Okay, that was wall number six, I guess. Going that way. <laughs> wall number seven and eight... I'll just do it as number seven. I don't want to be too cheesy. You can do the one way going this way, or obviously a one way going this way to hold either flank, depending which side they're coming from. If they're coming from that side, or if they're coming from this side. Wall number eight, we are leaving from attacker's side, going towards a site. There is this uh, tall box here. It kind of looks pointless and massively out of the way, but what you can do is get your teammate to satchel boost you across. So if you get satchel boosted to here by a raise, you can actually do a long wall off of the box. So if you come all the way here, you can now see back into a site. So that's a site right there. And obviously you can see there. So if they're holding from, or if they're pushing from this back area from this uh, defender spawn, you can kill them coming in. I'd, uh, I'd recommend to use an operator from here just to get an easy kill. Wall number nine is off the same box. So you can again come up here with race satchels and you just want to do a long wall coming diagonally this way. And this will actually allow you to see into that mid area from when people are rotating. Now, admittedly, you don't have a great angle. You might be able to catch somebody. Kind of a gimmicky wall, but could be good for one kill. Or to put in your TikTok montage. <laughs> Alright, moving on towards a site. I will be showing you how to abuse one ways on this site. There's quite a few here that you can use. Straight away, we can see this little lip here. So what I want to do is a wall going this way. Now, you can plant on this side. So remember, you'd plant here. Do this wall and then you can come all the way back here and play it really really safe when you know they're diffusing you come down and get yourself the kill these are perfect in 1v1 situations so please start using the one ways in a 1v1 you're pretty much guaranteed to win they'd have to break the wall and be really aware of you so a great wall number 10 using the same ledge and the same concept we're going to move on to wall number 11 you want to do it diagonally this way so that they can't cross and this time you plant on this side so obviously you can see if you plant right here They'd have to just defuse, especially if there's no time left. And now you can play it safe from defender spawn. So you play around this area. You can even move all the way around if they're chasing you. And as soon as they go to defuse the spike, you can come back. Oh, it's just so easy. <laughs> it's actually so easy. Because even if they break this block, you've got this one. And if they break this one, you can move around and, and just play around it. Easy slows. There's a lot you can do here. Okay, moving on to wall number 12. I think we're on 12. We're going to stick with the one-way walls that we've been doing on A site. Uh, you can obviously see the stairs here. So you want to do a wall coming off of the stairs. Like this. Now, it looks like a tiny little gap. But what you want to do is plant right here on this corner. And the enemy team will have to defuse here. They'll be checking around for you. And this time, you want to play it from this side of defender spawn, right? So you want to play it from here. When they go to defuse, you can just see under. You'd be able to see their toes and just tap them like this. Anytime they come off the spike, again, you can just hide. Use your slows. They can't push you. Come back out. Tap, tap, tap. Great little wall right there. Again, moving around a site, we will be able to find wall number 13. You could come onto the hut. And you want to do a long wall going towards the stairs right here. Now, this one isn't the best because you have to hold this angle. But using your slows, you can stop people rushing you right here and then knowing that they're going to push you from here or here you've got great off angle if the spike is planted underneath you and if you have somebody else holding from there or right there so it's just a nice little off angle which you can also hide behind the wall from wall number 14 is going to be more of a troll one that you're going to see me going for live on stream i'm going to plant right here that's the plan and then wall it off like this using that wall they're going to think that i'm probably sat behind here or trying to move around that side of the map what you can actually do is 
jump around to this side and then hold defender spawn. If they don't push you here, you can hop all the way back around and then go for like a jump kill or a jump knife. That is wall number 14. It's not the best, but it could definitely be fun for some great clips right there. Wall number 15 will be moving around the back side of A site towards the defender spawn. You want to use this box to create a one-way wall. Now, I actually wouldn't do a, a long wall here because that will just make them go to the other side and push this way. What you want to do is just a standard wall, okay? So just place your wall on top of the box, if I can place my wall, like this. <laughs> that actually created the long wall. If you want to catch them off guard and use it as a sneaky one way, just do it like this. Place the uh, normal wall on top of the box. Now the enemy team can run around it, which will make them run around it. They'll push this way. And you can just sit and wait. Once you see them pushing around the side of it, they won't be able to see you right here. So you just sit and wait. You'll see them trying to walk around. And as soon as they do, you get the free kill. Use it this way because it'll make the enemy forced to push down here rather than going to break this wall. It's kind of pointless to waste your ammo when you can just run past it, but that's the bait trap. So that's wall number 15, a great little one way for the backside of A site. All right, now that I feel like we've kind of covered the sites, I mean, there's probably a lot more to do on B site, but I don't want to overdo it right there. We're going to come into middle and just check out what there is here. You'll find a lot of these tall boxes, as I've mentioned before, so you can get double satchel boosted up here. Once you're up here, you can actually hold A site or we can create a, a wall. So you want to wall this way. This will allow you to get a nice peek onto the backside of a site. Oh, better yet, I think you can actually go like this. And then you can even come around the corner. Okay, do it that way. <laughs> That's wall number 16. Because then you can come around the corner. And if you're feeling brave and safe, come back out, get the kills and go back. Using this exact same box, we can use it to hold the flank. So you want a long wall this way. Once they're rotating off B site towards A, if you plant on A, they will come through the middle area and you can just kill them from a really great off angle, actually, because you can imagine it's quite hard to flick all the way up there. We're going to move on to this uh, strange area right here. I'm not sure what you would call this. I guess the kind of lobby to B connector. Uh, there's a box right here, so you can use this to create a long wall going this way. Obviously, this is great for if anybody's pushing the archers to rotate from A to B. It gives you a great off angle. However, they can see the wall, so you can make a difference as well by not creating it all the way out and just doing it this way. So it only goes out half of the way, right? Does that make sense? So you just wall, but rather than it going all the way out, you just want it to go like this. And then once they're pushing out, you've got a really nice off angle. They'd literally have to come out and go... <laughs> which just won't happen. I believe that was wall number 18. Forgive me if I've lost count. Uh, we're going to actually move on to the one ways again. I love to abuse one ways when there's a new map and I think you should too. That's why I'm showing you a ton of them. So again, you can create this wall and now the enemy will obviously just kind of check here and then try to rotate to B site because it's quite a faff to... I don't know. You wouldn't You wouldn't really break the wall, would you? It would be a lot of uh, bullets and energy wasted trying to break the wall when you're trying to rotate to B site if the splat if the spike is already planted. So what you want to do is create the one way and then you can just sit here and watch their little feet run past. That's wall number 19. Great wall. Trust me, this one's going to work 100%. Dry it in your games and watch you kill them whilst they rotate. Moving down to the bottom of the stairs. I'm not going to show you all of them because I, I bet you can imagine at this point, look how many one ways there are float. They're all over the place. There's one right here. Obviously you can do that and then hold it. There's the one way. Now if you want to make it lower as well, make sure it works really well you can do it off of this edge and so on and so on you can use the stairs going this way you you get the idea there's a ton of walls so i'm just gonna i'm gonna call this bit wall number 20 abuse these stairs for a ton of one ways when they're rotating from the other side wall number 21 we're gonna be moving on to another raise boost you need to get boosted up here once you're up here you want to do a long wall going towards site now just make sure that the long wall actually goes towards this area and not too far to the left because what you can do so if it goes towards this side, you can actually peek onto the back side of B. So if you plant right here behind this box, they'll uh, they'll try to go for the diffuse. And now if, if you see the kind of spikes, uh, spike being diffuse, sorry, you can go for the wall bank. So you're in a really safe area, especially if you have a vandal here. You can go for the wall bank or if they're on the left side of it, you can tap them and they'll never expect it. They'll never. Look how crazy this angle is. Look how crazy that angle is. 
Your head would be right there. They would never expect this. So wall number 21, use that box. Try get a race to boost you up. It will be a really cool claim. Plus it's actually really useful in game. As we've pretty much made our way across the whole map at this point, I don't want to show you too many walls and overwhelm you because I'm sure there's a lot more one ways and kind of crazy walls that I will find over time. I just did want to point out this one really quick. If you go to the tall box, you can wall right here. This is again in the attacker side mid lobby that I called, whatever I called it. You can hold here. Now, to get the headshot, it'd be really, really tough. But you can go for the jump peak as well to give your team info. Or if you're playing a raise, you can stand here and nade down. And I'm pretty sure you would actually be able to teammate boost right here. So if you put your teammate in the corner and you crouch walk into them, they would be at this height and you can hold like this. So just a wall to keep in mind. That was 22 walls on the brand new map, Pearl. I am streaming right now. So if you want to come to my stream, I'd love to have you there. If you're watching this later, then I hope you enjoyed the video and the walls so far. I will be posting a ton more walls and I will be playing against other streamers. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you learned a lot. And uh, be sure to subscribe, like, and let me know what you'd kind of like to see around the map next because i can do a video on just one way so i have a ton of one ways on this map i just didn't want to show too many and make it all about one way walls because there are a ton on this map anyway thank you for watching the video i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya